L6 Link becomes very interesting when you use a Helix with 2.8 or later firmware. Simply connect the Helix to the L6 Link input. Helix will then detect power cap and send its audio in stereo and preset information down the single cable. Now if you open up the power cap menu pages on the output block of your Helix preset, you can see that all kinds of things can be controlled. For example, you could have Helix tell power cap to be in flat, IR or speaker mode and then choose the speaker model or the IR. Everything can be stored within your Helix preset or within the snapshots. But you must make sure to use the digital cable, which is a 110 ohm AES EBU cable, which is not the same as an XLR cable. If you want to connect two power cabs and have them both controlled by Helix, simply run another L6 Link cable from the L6 Link output. If you use a different modeler that also has an AES output, you can use the AES input to keep your signal fully digital until you hear it from the power cab speaker. On the back panel, you can see we have stereo inputs and outputs. Now the right or aux in can also double as an input for feeding a signal back from a mixer. So maybe you could use that for backing vocals or for a band mix whilst you're on stage. Now you will know what it means to be alone. MIDI in, out and through. PowerCab 212 can send program changes or pass through messages to other devices or allow you to change its own parameters via MIDI. You could also connect a second PowerCab and have them both change presets together. USB is used for PowerCab edit software, loading IRs, or using PowerCab as a USB computer interface with built-in speakers. Now in this way you can stream music to and from PowerCab. <laughs> Use PowerCab to add IRs to your guitar signal before it gets to your door. Or use PowerCab as amplification for modeling software such as Helix Native. And the USB monitoring settings are found in global settings, which is accessed by holding down the home button. PowerCab can be connected in a lot of useful ways. You could simply connect the modeler in stereo, or you could connect the Line 6 Helix using L6 Link. Choose what mode you want to listen to on stage, then send that signal or a mic version of the speaker mode to your mixer. Feed a signal back from the mixer into input number two. Introduce USB for streaming backing tracks. Connect a second power cab via MIDI or you could connect a second power cab via L6 Link. PowerCab 212 Plus really is the most advanced solution for hearing your modeler. You can of course take advantage of all of these features, or you may just want to simply plug in a modeler, choose a speaker type, and play guitar.